Lucy Light says, talking especially about women, are there opportunities for death of identity, notably start of period or birth of child? So let's get into this one because whenever we go through physical changes and that's beyond the biological aspect, we're literally looking at a death of an old identity and a new form or a new phase of life that then creates a new identity that we can then step into. And especially with women and the menstrual cycle, it is basically a change and that is a new phase of growth and reflection. And then that growth and reflection also means letting go of old energies or negative energies. And then a renewal of a cycle that obviously follows the pattern of the moon cycle. And then we have phases and development that then comes in as a result of that. And if we go back to the very first period, which aligns to the male version of puberty, we're then also looking at that is a change in a phase for the individual that's in question. And then that phase actually symbolizes fertility in women. And that fertility doesn't necessarily mean, obviously beyond childbirth, but we're looking at it from a place of the fertility of the individual, whereby you're stepping out of that initial phase of subconscious programming and conditioning, and you're actually going into more of a secondary phase of lessons and learning that will give you an element of self-discovery and self-growth that then allows you to then develop as a person and as an individual. And anything that doesn't align with that, be it childhood trauma, be it conditioning, be it patterns, habits and behaviours, be it generational trauma, will then subsequently have to leave or be dealt with. And that's the first instance in which it can be done so. And then when we come to childbirth, that's a whole separate kettle of fish, but we're literally looking at it from a place of once you have a child, you then have a mini me or a mirror. And that mirror itself then becomes a secondary element that then allows you to obviously see yourself from a different angle, see more of your programming, habits, behaviors, and conditioning, and the identity that you've had to create over the years. And then the question then becomes whether or not you carry on that patterning and those behaviors, or whether or not you work on the level of awareness that it takes for you to break those said habits, patterns, and behaviors. And then in doing so, you can then change the generational or the lineage line and therefore correct anything that's gone before. So hopefully that answers your question. But for anything else, trust the process and it's bye for now.